Our aspiration in ESF is to make sure that all our young people, in, including our children with special needs, special educational needs, have every possible opportunity both in school and beyond school. And all of that can happen through a career development program. Thank you, Baba. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Yes. I have been working here for four months already. How do you like it? It's good. Good job. Courtney graduated from KG5 not long ago, where he attended learning support classes. During year 12 and 13, he joined the Structured Workplace Learning Program offered by the ESF Career Development Service. Did I actually go there? Yeah. There are two work placements a year, each lasts three to four months. Through the programme, he has worked in catering, offices, horticulture, construction and in a kindergarten as a teaching assistant. Aspiring to be a chef, he most loves to work with food. Um, what I do is I prepare the, the um, foods. I do the, the pizzas. I do the chicken, I do the sweet corn, cup. It's much better than sitting around waiting till, till the lesson's finished. You can just walk around, help other people. In, in here working is happy yes. together? It's fun working with you and Fong and me. Very fun. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. So the school did a fabulous job in turning an insecure, very attached child to an independent, confident young man. And he organised the job that he's got today with Sodexo. So I'm incredibly proud of him and I am so thankful to the school for this amazing programme. The Career Development Service coordinates the whole vocational training and work placement program that helps students to flourish like Courtney. Um, usually the students who go with the work placement program is from the learning support classes. And some students are more high functioning, they will go to the work place independently. And some students need more support, then we will have a job coach to follow them and then support them in the work place. Chili sauce. How many spoon? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Job coaches like Anja lead the students step by step to achieve the necessary work skills. Yes, good girl. Some of the students is very good for the cooking. They will say, can I put some oil, can I put some soy sauce, add some more sugar. There's uh, some, a lot of potential. The training is made possible every day here at Sensation a staff room come cafe developed by the Jockey Club Sarah Row School. We were finding it difficult to give uh, continual work placement for some of our more severe youngsters, so what we decided to do was to set up a cafe because we've got a, a kitchen specially designed for, for disabled students. For some of the youngsters they're very keen to work on the books and to look at the money, but they're also very keen about the different uh, recipes that are used within the cooking that they do. So the, the aim of uh, the cafe was really an enterprise to give uh, our 16 to 19 year old students uh, an opportunity to experience working. The cafe is only one area of the training. Um, to train their basic skills at the beginning like um, uh, for example typing or filing, distributing documents, those are the basic things and uh, in, the, in the middle of the period, I will start to train them about their interpersonal skills. Actually, at the end, I hope them they, they can become independent. Employers find joining the work placement program very rewarding. You know, being involved, doing something special for your community, feeling that Ernst & Young is doing something special, that generates that kind of excitement. So, you know, yes, it's less productive, but in the long run for us, it's massively important in terms of people feeling that we're a good company to work for. A career exhibition like this is a great platform that the Career Development Service organises regularly to help students and parents map the path for the future. So um, we have been and seen some of the, the people that are exhibiting here beforehand. 
um, and we've come here really to talk to them again to see what our daughter Grace could access. Um, so we're a post-school um, service for adults with learning disabilities. Um, so anyone who's 18, and I think our oldest student at the moment is about 45. For the gra fashions, graphics, 3D spatial, and then also the multimedia. Besides, we also have a performing arts uh, business, hospitality, and language and translation. We open for all the public. In case the student have a special needs, we also have arranged interview for them. We want to provide them a place where it's supervised, safe, where they can do what any typical teenager want to do. And it's a place for young adults, like Courtney, to show how the programme has helped him. All our students have the right to live as equal members within the community. The Work Experience programme boosts the self-esteem and confidence of all our students. They thoroughly enjoy the work experience we offer and feel upskilled and valued. The more employers we can get to offer us that support, because we do offer the, train, the, the, the employers training and all sorts of uh, support to take on students, the better. And uh, I think uh, you know Hong Kong is beginning to develop that way. There are employers now happy that we'll take on our youngsters. Next year and beyond, every school will have a learning support centre, for example. So it means that there will be more children who will need to look to the future. There will be more um, necessity for a program like the Career Development Program. Oh, I highly recommend it to other parents. I, I think there's lots and lots of reasons why a company ought to be doing it. Really, really, really do. Is she a good student? Soon, then. <laughs>